Hello, everybody. My name is Frederick Knudsen. I am the creator of the Down the Rabbit Hole series on YouTube. So, on April 4th, I'm pretty sure it was, last Wednesday, yes, I did a live stream reading of a document called Not So Awesome, which was a collection of, um, of testimonies from previous members and disaffected members of Channel Awesome who wanted to air their grievances. That unexpectedly exploded. The reason I originally did that was because I had just released my episode on Spoonie, and I wanted to provide a little bit more context on Channel Awesome and his time there. I it came the, the document came out too late for me to be able to include it in the video itself, and so I thought that suppl something supplemental would be nice. And it accidentally got up to number one on trending on YouTube um, for live streams. So I originally intended to just do the Not So Awesome document, but it got so much attention that I feel it's right to come back and read Channel Awesome's rebuttal. Now, I... Before we start, I'd like to do a little bit of house cleaning. First of all, this will likely be my last foray into Channel Awesome for a little while. I didn't intend to get as involved in all of this as I did, and I don't want to make a full episode on them until well after all of this is settled, and it looks like Channel Awesome is starting to wind down anyway. Um, so I'll probably wait for a while. I don't know how long that could be. It could be a few months. It could be a year. Um, but I'll wait as long as it takes so I can do a proper retrospective and a proper down the rabbit hole. Um, also, I want to make it clear, I have read this document in advance. Um, I did not read the Not So Awesome document in advance, um, but I did read this one because I think that it was necessary. Um, there's just so much in there, and there have already been responses to it that I want to be able to um, read those responses. Um, and give a little bit more context. Also, this stream is going to be way shorter than the last one, because um, this response is much shorter and doesn't address nearly everything in the document. Uh, it doesn't address nearly all of the document. So again, um, Super Chats are going to be saved for the end of the stream, because um, I don't want to interrupt the stream to constantly go back to them again. Um, Another thing that I wanted to mention is that I do have an interview with uh, with a former content creator. N um, I recorded it earlier, um, yesterday in fact. It was originally going to kind of be... It was going to be the first time that they had spoken out, but they actually spoke on another live stream. But that live stream has hardly gotten any attention at all so far. So this is probably going to be the first time that most people are hearing it. Oh god, am I echoing? I am. I'm so sorry. Fixed it. I didn't realize that I had the page open. Alright, and nothing else is coming through. Sorry, guys. Terrible start to this. <laughs> Everyone's saying echo. Now we're good. It was probably very quiet. Alright. I also want to make a redaction from the original um, from the original live stream I did on the Not So Awesome document. Channel Awesome's initial response wasn't an apology. They did like I, I joked and said they said we are sorry. No, they weren't. They they didn't even apologize. They said we're sorry you feel that way, which is a non-apology. All right, looks like everything's doing okay. No more echo. We're good. So I actually do have a list of points that I want to go down right off the bat. Um, and so for each... So I have prepared for this in part. Um, but we're going to read through the whole thing, and then for... Um, it'll make sense when we actually go through the structure of the document. Um, it's structured as an accusation and then a fact. And I'll get into why that's really crappy in a little bit. But let's get started. Let's turn off the music. I'm controlling a lot over here. This is a one-man show, and this is a little tricky. So let's start this off. This is titled, Our Response. 
All right, I'm I'm just double checking. I'm not echoing anymore. I'm not anywhere else. Don't think. We're good. We're clean. So, I'm going to be going this in significantly more detail than I did the other document because I've had a little bit of time to prepare. So, it starts off, Since the posting of the not-so-awesome document on Monday, April 2nd, 2018, we have been exploring all of our options of how to address the lies that have been alleged in multiple disgruntled individuals with uh, by multiple disgruntled individuals with vindictive intentions. So... This is already attempting to paint the people who were in the document, who spoke in the document, um, as liars. Immediately. They already did this. In, they, they tried to paint the contributors to the document in a really negative light in their initial response, but this is doubling down on it. Um, they're calling them disgruntled, and they're calling them vindictive. So immediately... Um, to someone who is not privy to this, they could easily just see this and that would be the end of it. I'm sure a lot of people read this and only read the very beginning and they said, oh, okay, um, these people who have a problem with Channel Awesome are just annoyed and disgruntled and vindictive. That's what they're going for here. They're hoping that you won't, they're hoping to catch the people that aren't looking into this further. Let's continue. Channel Awesome... It's like, th this is really slimy rhetoric, by the way. This is awful. And especially if you're a company, this is terrible. So, Channel Awesome has always tried to keep our dealings with content partners out of the public eye, and despite any differences or disagreements, we have never publicly spoken negatively about any of them. But a response to the accusations leveled against us must happen. So, this is also kind of funny. They are again... Tr so, in the first paragraph, in the first sentence, they are trying to paint the people in the document as vindictive and angry and nasty. And Channel Awesome is trying to paint themselves as good, as passive, as pacifist, and only lashing out because they, like, they have been struck first, which is absurd. Like, this is absolutely absurd, and we'll get into it even more as we get into the document. So already, this is super slimy rhetoric, trying to paint themselves in as positive a light as possible, but not in an upfront way. They're trying to do it more subtly. Th this is weaponized rhetoric. So obviously, we cannot address all 73-plus pages of accusations against us in this forum, but we will address the most egregious now. Why not? Why can't you? This is your website. I mean, it took you how long? Second, this was released on the 11th. The document was released on the 2nd. That means nine days. And this is your website. You can do as much as, like, you can add as much as you want. Why do you, so what this means and what this is telling me is they just want to address the things that they view as, uh, as the worst. So this is actually kind of look into, into the way that whoever wrote this is thinking. What they believe to be the worst so that we, I, and I want to stress the fact that I'm quite convinced that this is from Mike Michaud. That's how it is pronounced, by the way. Um, I had to learn it after the fact, but it's pronounced Michaud. Um, but I'm convinced that the same person who wrote the initial response on Twitter is the same person that wrote this because the rhetoric is almost exactly the same. They start out by trying to tell you um, trying to figure out who the bad guy is and who the good guy is and just tell you right up front, even if the rest of the response does not support that. And it doesn't. That, like, this does not support... Like, if this were a thesis statement, this would have nothing to do with it. They're saying that they're just angry and vindictive and the way that this is set up as an accusation and fact, and they even said, you know, they're liars and they're trying to reinforce that by saying they accused of this accused us of this, but the fact is this, trying to reinforce the idea that these people are lying. But as we go through the document, you'll see that this isn't the case. So they're trying to have their cake and eat it too, in a way. So let's begin. 
Accusation. Jane Doe accuses us of knowing about a sexual deviant for over a year. Fact. The screenshot below clearly demonstrates the time elapsed from being made aware of the individual in question, name redacted for legal reasons, <laughs> and the time the content partner was released from Channel Awesome. Three weeks, not over a year. During the three-week period, we consulted a lawyer and waited to see if anyone would come directly to us, as our only knowledge of this was secondhand. It is obvious the person who came forward with this in the not-so-awesome document wants their name protected, so we will continue to do so. This, I, I, I hate to have the worst right up front, but this is by far the worst part of the document. And there are a couple of reasons for this. So, first I want to say, I was pretty dubious about the anonymous account. I know that I reacted pretty strongly to it, the Jane Doe in the document. But I also was pretty dubious because, you know, anonymous claims are really hard to verify. And I'd, like, I'm not sure what other people's vetting is like. But this confirms it, that it's true. So al already the most dubious part of the document is being supported by Channel Awesome. But that's not the worst of it. They say that they do not want to release the name of the person who did this. However, with the information they provided, like here's the chat log, we see the date, we know that, or uh, we know that three weeks later, they released him from the channel. That makes it really easy to figure out who it was that did this. And I, I'm, I know a lot of people don't know. It's pretty common knowledge now on the internet. Um, but it's clear now, very clear, that the person who did this was Justin Carmichael, also known as Jew Wario. Um, for those of you who don't know, he, um, he shortly, uh, only about a year after this, uh, committed suicide. What really irks me is that they had to have known that this information they were providing would reveal who the predator was. They had to have known, because, I mean, three weeks after they were alerted, here's the chat logs where they say we, they were alerted. And I don't think they released anyone else around the time. My favorite part of this, though, is look at this. Take a really good look at this. You can still see the J. <laughs> they, and just a little bit of the I right here. Do, did we want to drop Justin on Friday? That is so sloppy. So what this tells me is they were not interested in actually trying to protect Justin. What they were doing was sacrificing... Um, Sacrificing other people for the sake of trying to protect themselves. Because the, the reason that people didn't want the identity of the predator to come out was because the victims were worried about retaliation. And they claim that they care, but they don't. So what they are effectively doing is sacrificing the people who were the victims of Carmichael so that they can defend themselves. To be fair, the person in the not-so-awesome document said, here, let me find it real quick. It's on page 66. Like, it w they weren't even certain that the person had stayed on for a year. Um, they, it, their memory was really cloudy. So congratulations, you managed to, um, to refute the claim of a person who was the victim of sexual assaults and had a very cloudy memory about it because that's just kind of how it works. So congratulations. We'll come back to this toward the end. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very angry about this. But we'll continue. We will come back to this in just a little bit. But this is just embarrassing. So, accusation number two. Sean Faust, accu I believe that's how you pronounce the name, accuses former Channel Awesome COO and founder Mike Ellis of a conversation of sexual nature that lasted over two hours. 
fact, Michael Ellis resigned from the company and no contact from Michael Ellis was attempted after the conversation was reported to Mike Michaud. With any termination involving a founder and shareholder, legal separation must happen and this takes time. My favorite part about this is, remember how we said, Mashad, I'm going to assume for now that Mashad was the person who wrote this because this is very much in line with how he is how he has been represented in the not so awesome document. <laughs> My favorite part is this does not call them out as liars. This just corroborates the claim. He's saying you're not a liar. It's true. That's all that happened here. It's like, yeah, he did this. <laughs> and my favorite part is it also confirms this. Like, they did not refute this. Look what this guy's do. Like, um, damn it, I told him he couldn't be doing this shit. I'll take care of it. Implying that indeed this was not the first time that Michael Ellis had done this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you're not taking the moral high ground. You're not refuting anything. You're just confirming it. Nobody's saying that, like, you... <sighs> okay. I'm going to continue. Was there anything else? I have notes. Yeah, this isn't a response. This isn't, like, a refutation. This is just confirmation. Accusation. Multiple content partners state payment for their contributions to the site were not compensated. Fact, from the beginning of the site, anyone that had been added as a content partner was informed that ChannelAwesome.com was an aggregator for their content. At no time did Channel Awesome take a cut of their videos, as the practice is with multi-channel networks, MCNs. We never wanted to be an MCN, and only asked them to schedule their videos that they already were doing for Blip.TV and YouTube. We gave them access to over 30 million page views and over a million unique viewers a month at our height. Y this, okay, I'm going to stop for just a second. This, do you really need to s stop and talk about how awesome you are? It just makes you look braggadocious. That's it. Like, wh how does this refute them? It's just, oh yeah, they, like, this is ridiculous. Also, look at how great I am. Look at my muscles. Channel Awesome viewed the partnership as a way to help content partners grow their audience while bringing in new content and increasing the community within the site. Again, this isn't a response. They're not responding to this at all. Further benefiting content partners, Channel Awesome covered all costs associated with server, hosting, and labor costs associated with maintenance and updates. Some content, pu content partners even had their servers for their own sites paid for by Channel Awesome. None of these costs were ever passed along to our content partners. This comes across to me as, really, you should be thanking us. It's, sort, it's that supervillain spiel, right? This is absurd. I love it. Just... Think about this for a second. They're supposed to be refuting this, like, refuting some aggressive claims, and all they can do is talk about how wonderful, and how wonderful they are, and how big their <clears throat> content distribution is. That's how it feels. <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing. So, there's one other thing I want to mention. I did watch Mars Girl's um, response to this and she brought up the fact that this is true at least it what it is true for some of the later people that came on because a lot of the apparently according to her the early creators would give their videos over to the channel awesome like administrators and they would upload it on their behalf but they never got payment for those videos that they handed over to channel awesome so, and that, this doesn't address that at all. At all. So, so far, what do we have? We have, oops, we just put some victims of sexual assault in jeopardy. Yeah, one of our, like, one of the people in the company was, had multiple times approached people in a sexual way. Undesired. It's important and avoiding the issue altogether. 
that's what we've got. We're only three in. Accusation, and we're still going with the accusation and fact thing. Accusation, the document talks about the drop in traffic to the site. Fact, while we did have an initial drop after the switch to demo reel, the switch, the real hit to the site's traffic came from our growing presence on YouTube. When we relaunched the Nostalgia Critic Show in January of 2013, Blip.TV decided to start placing the full episode up on the League of Super, Super Critics channel a week after we launched it on ThatGuyWithTheGlasses.com. As we grew on League of Super Critics more and... Uh, okay, let this... Sorry, some of these sentence patterns are weird. As we, grow, as we grew on League of Super Critics, more and more viewers decided to watch it on YouTube instead of our site. The biggest blow to site traffic came before the downfall of Blip.TV. While, well, yeah, while we won't go into full details, we were forced to abandon the League of Super Critics channel and instantly start a channel that's awesome in May of 2015. This is the point when traffic began to quickly drop off our site, now channelawesome.com. One of the biggest accusers stated that they may still be on the site if the views were there, as stated by Kaylin below. So, of all... Of the issues people brought up in the document, and of the few that you decided to respond to, you decided to respond to someone saying your view counts were low. Again, they're just trying to brag. It's just this again. Hey guys, don't worry, we're great. We have tons of views. All the views. Hey guys, tons of people watch our videos. We watch, like, we have so many viewers. So many wonderful viewers. Just... Why? This isn't a rebuttal. This isn't a response. This is just you waggling your dong around. <laughs> How did you think this was a good idea? I don't get it. You know... Okay. You know how sometimes you go out with friends, and maybe you tease one of your friends a little bit, and then they, they just, you know, they, they blow it off. They're like, ha ha ha, funny joke. Um, there's always that one guy. I'm sure everyone has experienced this guy. You make a little joke at their expense, but instead of just, r like, letting it roll off their shoulder, for the rest of the night, they are constantly saying, actually, I'm very strong. Do you remember the time I bench pressed 220 pounds? It's that guy. This is what this sounds like. Oh god, I just realized how well this <laughs> ties in. It's it's Dong Walker all over again. So, there... Ha Lies? Question mark? No. So far, they have done a terrible job of trying to out the people in the not-so-awesome document as liars. Accusation. Multiple content partners have alleged our anniversary specials were not compensated for time worked and crossover videos were asked to be turned over if filmed to Channel Awesome. Fact, when invitations for the anniversary specials were issued, we made it clear to all content partners that their participation was on a voluntary basis. In addition, content partners were always given the option of declining our invita invitation with no questions asked and no repercussions. Uh, we'll get back to that. We understood we were asking our content partners to give up their time, and that not everyone could do that. The produ <sighs> Okay, we're gonna stop for just a second here. First of all, it's a on a voluntary basis. No repercussions. Hold on. So if you have a site full of content creators, and some of them are willing to go this extra mile and others aren't, suddenly they're at a disadvantage. You can officially say that this isn't the case. And maybe technically, officially, it's true. But if anyone has worked a day in their life, they know how BS this is. It, things like this will get factored in. Always. We understood that we were asking our content partners to give up their time, and that not, not everyone could do that. If you already recognize that they were sacrificing a lot, why would you ask them to also give up their crossover videos? That's the crazy thing to me. Like, we understand, but clearly they don't. Because they continue by justifying 
the fact that they asked for all crossover episodes. The producer contract for Channel Awesome third anniversary film participation also outlined the following terms and conditions for those who did agree to participate, including participation was voluntary and crossovers were never required. But this is often the only time that people get the chance to do crossovers. So if the, like, they obviously are wanting to do this. Of course they could decline, but it will put them at a massive disadvantage compared to other creators, especially in the eyes of the of like Mike Michaud. Everyone who attended the anniversary was told the channel also would cover the cost of travel, lodging, breakfast, lunch, and dinner if the filming went late. If the filming went late. If. All right. Good for you. Again, this doesn't address any of the problems in the document. This is avoiding the issue. This is the power of rhetoric, by the way. They are responding but aren't responding. Like, this is a non-response, completely. A few content partners alleged a misogynistic word... Okay, I, I want to double-check and make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Um... So, here we go. Right, I wanted to mention the biggest problem isn't the contract or that they signed the contract, it's that they were naive content producers and they were taken advantage of. That's why people are salty. God knows I've felt that. I've been taken advantage of back when I was, like, starting out in film. Like, of course I'm going to be salty about it. Yeah, they are completely within their legal right. Yeah, sure, the contracts, like, I signed the contracts. That doesn't mean, that, that doesn't justify it, if that makes sense. Like, it just, it sucks. It's like, they are right. Like, they, like nothing they're saying, okay, they have lied a couple times, but this, hold on, this isn't correct. This isn't incorrect. And that's the best I can give them. A few, all right, a few content partners alleged a misogynistic work atmosphere by Channel Awesome. Fact, Channel Awesome's current and former female staff, including Tamara Chambers, Rachel Teets? Ayana Wade and Heather Roos have had vastly different experiences than the ones described. We are always trying to improve ourselves both personally and professionally, and moving forward, we will implement mandatory sensitivity training for all staff to ensure we maintain a culture of respect for all employees. All right, great. Uh, I mean, sure, that's fine. Like, I don't have a problem with this. It's this that I have a problem with. Just because some people say you're okay doesn't mean that other people can't have grievances. So let's say, for sake of example, you go on five dates with five different women. Four of the women have a good time. You know, they enjoy themselves. The fifth woman just has a terrible time. Like, maybe you're just a complete jerk to her. If that woman has a problem with you, you don't then get to say, what? But those other four girls had a great time. Which means that you must have had a great time too. It doesn't work that way. Individual experiences are individual. So just saying that other people are okay, just saying that you haven't been shitty to some people doesn't mean you haven't been shitty to other people. I'm... It, that cheeses me off. Holly Brown makes numerous accusations throughout the document. Fact, Holly Brown is a former employee and shareholder who was allowed to resign. Unfortunately, her accusations are not true and are vindictive in nature. This isn't a response. At all. Like, how does this answer anything? Also, I'd like to point something out. They claim that Holly resigned. Holly begs to differ. Give me a moment. I need to find it. I thought I had it prepared, and I don't think I did. Ah, oh boy. Come on. Here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at some chat logs that Holly provided. Oh, God. There we go. 
So, Robert Walker says, And just so you know, I actually didn't want this. I was outvoted, and that pretty much just sealed me, sealed in me in a corner. Holly replies, Given that you were the only one that came out to my car, I'm not surprised to hear that. I know you well enough to know that you would have spoken to me about having some kind of serious issue with me and at least would have given me a chance once we started producing the new shows. As usual, communications and lack of specific job descriptions proved to be a big issue. So, yeah, I argued as best I could. So Robert replies, I argued as best I could, but it, it was it was got pretty much out of my control fast. By the time we were asked to discuss it, I realized I had probably lost. So clearly there was a decision to let Holly go. Whether they offered her the chance to resign... Like, what it sounds like is, we're going to fire you, or you could resign. Functionally, it's the same. They let her go. So, are they technically correct? Maybe. But either way, they're, they're trying to word this in a way that makes them look as good as possible. This is all really carefully manipulated rhetoric. Oh well, plot hole. <laughs> exactly and that's what's so frustrating is immediately they are rebutted and suddenly everything else that they're saying about Holly is brought into question accusation Holly Brown alleges CEO Michael Michaud is sole owner of the Nostalgia Critic IP Fact, the IP is owned by Channel Awesome Incorporated. The partnership is owned by four individuals with a fifth person joining ownership by the end of the year. I feel really sorry for that fifth person right about now. So, again, people just kind of... The, the ownership of the Nostalgia Critic was in question, but how is this functionally any different? Mike Michaud is the is the majority shareholder of Channel Awesome. So, doesn't that mean he has control over the Nostalgia Critic IP, at least for now? There's also something really fun I'd like to let you guys know. I was contacted by a person earlier today, I think it was actually um, last night while I was sleeping, and they told me that they actually went and did a little bit of investigative work. And they discovered that Yes, Channel Awesome owns the copyright to the Nostalgia Critic. However, that copyright wasn't filed until 2016. So just FYI, fun little bit of information. So again, what are, what are they refuting? Why did they choose this fact to refute? It seems so minor and trivial and technical. Again, like, it's... They're not... Ref they're not proving them as liars yet. We're most of the way through the document, and they still haven't done it. How are they liars? Holly Brown, okay. Um, accusation, Holly Brown alleges Channel Awesome had her work during to boldly flee after her surgery. During this time, Robert Walker, Doug Walker, and Michael, Michael Michaud, I will always take a minute, told her she did not have to work. It might have been, um, trademark. Sorry, I need to... Actually, I can check that right now. Fact-checking myself. It is a standard character mark. Trademark, looks like. Thank you for, um, for pointing that out. I hope I'm not rambling too much. I'll try to move this a little bit faster. Uh, Holly Brown alleges Channel Awesome had her work during to boldly flee after her surgery. Fact, during this time, Robert Walker, Doug Walker, and Michael Michaud told her she did not have to work. Site updates were performed by others as she recovered. So this shows a, tech, um, a text log talking about um, how she didn't have to work. You know, they told her you don't have to come in. Problem with that. She did end up showing up. Now, the question is w whether they required her to show up or not. We actually have a photo from Holly. Again, gonna, gonna reference something. She's been on fire on Twitter recently. <laughs> but, oh, I screwed this up. I'm ruining everything, everyone, and I apologize. I'm ruining everything forever. Now is around the time I wish 
I had a second person controlling all of this for me. There she is on the set. <laughs> and you can see um, her too. What is that? Um, the drain. So it's a drain for after her surgery. All right. So they didn't address this at all. They just said she, she wasn't required to, even though, like, I can understand. Holly seems like the person who is willing to go above and beyond, and I understand that. But the way it's worded implies that she is just a liar. Just a liar. This is very clearly not about them clearing the air. Again, whoever wrote this, likely Mashad, is more worried about his own image than anything else. So... Accusation. Lindsay Ellis alleges Doug Walker and Channel Awesome ignored concerns regarding the transformation scene. As the screenshot below shows, so fact, as the screenshot below shows, Lindsay was repeatedly asked for her opinion and approval of the scene before it was finalized. Lindsay even helped Doug make, make the scene sound better. So here he's, the reference is they were doing audio editing to make it sound better. So here's the thing. Yeah, she approved of it initially, but... It's an important part of the creative process that someone might approve of something, then someone else points out the problem with it, and then that person goes, yeah, I guess you're right. This happened to me really recently with the Spoonie episode. I had some timelines done. I looked at them. You know, I thought they were good. Um, I had someone else look at them, and they said, Fred, this isn't good. Like, you, you, this looks bad. You shouldn't use this. And I was really excited about them, and I looked at it, and I was like, yeah, you're right. I was just too excited about having it. So opinions can change, especially when you have other people talking about it. And that's fine. All they're saying is Lindsay was initially okay with it. Again, I, I just don't know what they're trying to do here. They're, they're trying to... I know exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it look like Lindsay is trying to smear them. When this... That's what happened just sounds like a normal part of the creative process. Is there anything I'm missing? I actually have some notes. Okay. Yeah, all it does... Alright, let's see. Yep. We're good. Next, accusation. Lindsay Ellis alleges Channel Awesome did not do enough to protect female content partners from abusive commenters. Fact, Channel Awesome has a strict policy regarding our community including IP banning all abusive posters as well as banning their account via username and email and continuing to monitor our forums. We worked with Lindsay directly to help her address issues resulting from an abusive commenter. Alright. I mean... I think the problem was that Channel Awesome wasn't doing more. This might be the only point that I sort of agree with. Like, that is sort of okay. But again, they're sort of dancing around the problem. Oops. There we go. That was the problem. Ah. <sighs> I don't really have a whole lot more to talk about this. Allison Pregler states, not a single person wasn't miserable. So they actually have a clip of Allison, a.k.a. Obscurus Lupa, talking. Let me go ahead and put my headphones on and make sure that this isn't too loud. So for reference, this was from the special, uh, this was from the special features of the DVD. Please load. I don't know if you want this for behind the scenes thing, but I thought I would uh, just add, you know, that it, it was a great production to be a part of. Uh, it was a lot of fun to be part of this and Suburban Nights. I hope that uh, future projects are in the works and that, you know, all of us get to work together again. Uh, I love being a part of this site and a part of these productions and it truly is uh, really the, the highlight of this year and last year. You know, getting to spend time with such great people and, and do what I love doing most, and that's entertaining people and creating things. All right. 
She said she had a good time on the set. This was probably recorded immediately afterward. I don't know if any, I don't know how many of you have worked in film or have worked on a set, but man, after about a month is about, is when you figure out whether or not you actually had a good time on a set. So I believe that she had, that she was just sort of coming down from the high. I'm totally willing to believe that immediately after filming, she was looking back on it and she was like, yeah, okay, that was tiring, but I had a good time. But it's really easy a month down the line to look back and be like, wow, that was terrible. I was having a terrible time. Think like I imagine there are people here who have dated someone, thought that thought it was going great, later broke up, look back a half year later and we're like, wow, that was awful. That wasn't fun. That was miserable. (laughs) And it's kind of like this. Right after the breakup. You're feeling sad. But you look back a little a little while later and you realize just how bad it was. So, again, this isn't really a... like. It seems really concrete and it seems like a really powerful argument, but it's so subjective. Like, all, all it proves is that she, that's what she thought right at the beginning. We're down to the last accusation and so far... They haven't really refuted anything, or everything that they have claimed is a lie has been refuted by someone else. And keep in mind, we're on the last point, and there's a lot in the document that has gone unaddressed. Let's continue. Accusation. I I told you this stream is going to be a lot shorter. Yeah, the video was made for the extras of Devold Leafly. Yeah, of course they're going to have a positive opinion on the DVD. Accusation. Multiple content partners address the lack of communication. Fact. We agree communication could have and should have been better. We got into this business based on our passion for content creation and have had many growing pains over the years. We always strive to learn from our mistakes and strengthen our skills. Have we made mistakes? Yes, we have. We even discussed some of our challenges in our behind-the-scenes videos. We've always focused on trying to entertain our viewers, shine spotlights on unknown talent, and share our attention with various charities. And we hope to continue to do so moving forward. They even admit wrongdoing? (laughs) Or they admit that they could have done better, or they admit that they failed, and they still refuse to apologize. This is way too amusing. (sighs) There's still no apology. None. And that's the whole... that, That is the response. This is the response that took them nine days to craft. I assume it was just Mashad. Because... This has the rhetoric of being made by one person. One person who is desperately and vehemently trying to defend himself and make himself look as good as possible. Yeah, someone in chat just said, mistakes were made. Exactly. Weaponized rhetoric. So I mentioned that I wanted to come back to the first point. So for those of you who missed it early on in the video, Channel Awesome, perhaps inadvertently, I suspect purposefully, revealed the fact that the sexual abuser was Jew Wario. Uh, His real name is Justin Carmichael. um, And a year after he was let go from Channel Awesome, he committed suicide. Now, here's the thing. I found a little tidbit in the meantime. It turns out that Larry Bundy Jr. in a chat in a very small live stream revealed a bit of information that I found fascinating. Let me find it. I I don't want to say exactly what it is until I have it. Browse. I should have had this ready. Here we go. We're going to make this bigger. And we're going to transition onto it. Rashad wanted Jew Wario back on the site, but Par Country wouldn't let him leave Retroware. 
So even after they knew about what Justin Carmichael did, they tried to get him back. I'm not, is that the real Larry Bundy? That's the real question. Can we check to see if he's verified? I'm going to double check that. He's not. So it very well could be him. So this isn't the big thing that I wanted to talk about. So before I end stream, there's one last thing I wanted to share. Yesterday, I was approached by Iron Liz, and she wanted to talk. I, I have her permission. Um, I recorded an interview. I held it, um, and she told me today that she's okay with me sharing this. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit play, and I'll let you guys listen. Um, because she is, she, she this she already talked about this on a much smaller podcast, but this will probably be heard by a lot more people. I'll let her speak for herself. <laughs> so, um, as so, I'm Iron Liz, by the way, <laughs> um, and uh, I'm not sure if you've been following the uh, the situation as it was released last night, but there was. Uh, speculation as to there was an abuser in the Google Docs um, that an, an anonymous person listed. Now, the thing about that is I actually do have information regarding that. So let's let's kind of back up and establish my, my credibility first. Sure. I was with uh, that guy with the glasses for about six months or so when I was posting, but I was dating Linkara at the time. Mm. Now, we were together for a couple of years and... Um, after we split, I kind of went my own way. I wanted to, by the way, uh, I'm a post-op male to female transsexual. So um, part of that process was to, for me, get that resolved. So I went back to school. Um, and um, at the time, Don't Ask, Don't Tell got repealed. So I was thinking about maybe becoming a soldier because that's something I want to do. Couldn't do it. Uh, so I was looking at law enforcement instead. So I have about a semester left, and I would have a second de um, bachelor's degree, degree in law enforcement. I would, if I do the what's called the post certification in the state of Minnesota, I would have the credentials to become a police officer. I also volunteered for about eighteen months at a sexual assault helpline. Uh, it's mm. called the Aurora Center um, at the University of Minnesota. So while this was uh, going on, this was maybe about two thousand thirteen or so, and. Um, what happened was I received a message from a friend of mine who said, you know, there's some very nasty things that came out recently about a specific producer. And um, I'm I'm crisis counselor certified, which means I have a, I'm not sure how if the credentials are still active, but I'd be able to work on a sexual assault line or a rape line or a suicide line. So. I had this credential and people who knew me knew that I was doing this. And so they said, well, this person doesn't know what to do. Well, I spoke with this individual um, and I, I can't really go into too many details, obviously, for their privacy yeah. and what have you. Um, but I did know them. They were somebody that was an acquaintance of mine through the website. And uh, I knew the abuser uh, pretty well, actually. And I would even count that person as being my friend. Hmm. Um so when the revelations came out with this, um, and I don't know how much more we, you know, we can certainly get into it further, but like I said, it can take a while, but, um, my motivation number one was I have to keep my mouth shut because I'm concerned about the person who had this done to them. They came to me in confidence and if the abuser is revealed, then, you know, the, the kind of KG response, I guess, from the internet is to try to figure out well, who, who lodged this concern. Yeah. So the issue that I'm concerned with is I, I wanted to share, or, or not share, but to protect the identity of this individual as best as I could. So that involved me keeping my mouth shut. Now, what happened last night with Channel Awesome is they basically revealed who the person is. Yeah. I can confirm that with, with my experience on um, dealing with this person as well as the... Um, 
my time on the, as a production assistant on Suburban Nights. So for me, this is sort of uh, the burden of proof. Yeah, I don't have to drag this around anymore. Um, yeah. As well as there's two kind of main concerns that I'm focused on right now. The first one is, number one, when this individual died, um, and we both know who we're talking about, um, mm. he essentially became martyred in a way. And uh, I suicide is, is absolutely terrible. I've lost three people you know, three friends said to it. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's noble. I think it's terrible. And um, I lost a friend as well. But regardless of the good things that I had with, with Justin, essentially, um, he did these things. And um, like I said, I when he when he passed away, any sort of criticism or bringing this to light would be shot down because in a way he was martyred. And uh, so if you're a certain and if you if there was a survivor out there, I think it would be very difficult before now to come out and say this happened to me, um, et cetera, et cetera. The second one is that Channel Awesome, for some insane reason, posted the details of this. And if they knew about it, my concern is, well, did they tell the police? Did they know somebody on their platform was potentially grooming children to for sexual purposes? If you don't, I know when it comes to, you know, being semi-famous, even on the internet, you um, attract people who will say anything to get attention. But in this case, having spoken with this particular individual that I'm 98% certain that they, what they're telling me was the truth. Mm. And that this, uh, from basic conversations from other individuals, there's rumors now that there's more, there's certainly others that happen too. So my question is, did Channel Awesome tell this to the police if they had sufficient evidence to fire this person? As well as, well, what responsibility did they have to say, well, did this happen on their on their website? Did, you know, did they did they alert anybody to say, OK, number one, yes, we want to cover our rears and make sure that this doesn't happen on our site. But don't you also maybe have some concern that it was still continuing? And if so, were there steps taken towards it? So that those are the two points that I'm kind of concerned with. I mean, this, this isn't about my ego. I mean, I only stand to lose by speaking to uh, openly about this. I mean, mm. I'm sure I'm going to get people coming after me saying, why are you trying to sully his memory? Sure. And that's not the point at all. The point at all is to support, you know, I, I cared about very deeply. He was my friend. Um, but he also did these horrific things. And certainly the people that he affected should have the right to, to air those. So yeah. that's kind of where I'm at. So there's actually something that you've um, been mentioning that I wanted to address. You, um, there, there's the implication that they're, um, so you're were, you were using the word grooming. In the document, the person stated that um, they were over 18. So while unethical, there's like, it's not necessarily illegal, question mark. Um, sure. But what you're, like, my, like, leaving my opinions aside, mm -hmm. um, but you're suggesting that there was more than one person to whom this happened. Now, I, I, these are based on conversations I've had with other individuals. Um, okay. I think the anonymous person is not the same person that I spoke with um, because I, be, uh, I believe the person that I spoke with indicated that they had been raped. Um, okay. So this grooming individual, here's the thing. He had a... a uh, a cat girl army thing that he was doing for a while. And, okay. uh, there, this, you know, these were patches that he, you know, you would pay and get a patch for this thing. Um, but there was a, a thing on the, called the secret tree house, uh, with that guy with the glasses, which was kind of a, a place where fangirls could get together and write fiction and do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I know there was, you know, he knew about it and was at least somewhat, kind of tapped into that. So again, I can't make accusations on things I don't know. Sure. Um, I just know what happened with this particular individual. And uh, what they told me was, that I, if I believe, and, and again, this was about five years ago or so, but for what they told me, they were raped. Okay. Well, thank you very much for and there's, sharing like this. Like I said, there's, there's even more that I can go into with the shooting on the, um, I picked up his cell phone actually and saw some things when I was trying to figure out um, who, who the phone belonged to. Okay. So, um, um, would you be willing to share those now? Yeah. Um, so basically 
I was a production assistant for this shoot and um, I was working tons and tons. And so part of it was running back and forth when they would go outside, you know, go outside and people would leave their cell phones. So I left a cell phone on the table and I uh, was like, trying to figure out whose it was. So I picked it up and in the context it said my wife and there was a second one underneath, underneath that that said my slave. So number one, I don't stick my nose in other people's business, but that mm. kind of made me go, whoa, if this individual is having an affair or something like that, I'm not, I, I just, is this your cell phone? Yep. Oh, thank you. Didn't bring it up because it's not something I want to peek into. But um, based upon that sort of thing, there is something going on. I don't know the full details of it, but I, I'm willing to stake my credibility and integrity that what uh, the, the person who spoke to me was telling the truth, that this was something I saw as well. And based upon some of the other, you know, behaviors that were going on, I don't think it's, far, you know, I'm, I'm certain that this took place. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Um, yeah. I, I know that this is really scary to talk about probably. And so thank you for being so candid. Well, the reality is, is I, I, I've, uh, I've moved on from this site. I've, yeah. Like, I'm literally a nobody. Okay. I, 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 I'm relocating to the Caribbean by the way. So, um, this is like the last thing I need, but at the same time, I think that, so there's an expression amongst the Jews, it's called tikkun olam, uh, which means like kind of fix the world a little bit. Hmm. And if Justin was still alive, number one, I would say to him, you know, I'd give him a piece of my mind. But the second one is, is okay, we got to fix this dude. And I don't know if that involves jail time or if that involves making amends with something. And I would be there to to help that, you know, help that process along as best as I possibly could. But I, I can't. If you knew that, would you not feel some sort of moral urgency to, to make it known so that other victims might be able to finally air their their situation? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where my process is from, is that I have compassion for the people who had this happen to them. I have no stake in this for my own ego. And in fact, it's probably going to bite me in the ass, mm -hmm. but it's the right thing to do. All right. So. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. I know that that recording was not super well structured, but I did want to include as much of it as I could. I chopped out only a tiny bit. So the issue at play here and the reason that this ties into Channel Awesome, um, I, I know that it veers a little bit away, seems to veer a little bit away, but the reason that this is an issue is because the... Um, at least the people who had come forward and had talked to the content creators at Channel Awesome did not want to be shared. This is not the only account. There is another account um, on Reddit uh, by someone under the name Throwaway I'm Scared. Um, it's a throwaway account, obviously. But this is another account. It's a second account. Um, they're not the Jane Doe from the logs, and this person has been vetted um, by the other people from Channel Awesome. But all of these people didn't want this to come to light because they didn't want people coming after them because um, people might think that they're making it up or trying to smear someone um, because people... Like, that does happen quite a bit. And Channel Awesome either, again, inadvertently or intentionally to try to cover themselves, um, revealed the identity of the person um, against the will of the victims. And now, at this point, since it's already out, like it's the cat's out of the bag at this point. I've covered just about everything that I wanted to cover, um, in sum, this document is a joke. They, in the beginning, try to set it up as them setting the record straight um, and coming in with very strong rhetoric saying they're going to expose liars um, and expose just how disgruntled and vindictive these people are and they did not counter anything. So this is empty.
This is just as empty as their initial response. That is my conclusion. We do have one more person who that that I would like to address before we finish, and that's Linkara. Linkara actually posted a series of tweets responding to it. And I would like to take a look at that very quickly before we close out. So Linkara says, so that, that response, huh? Here's mine. I don't have to say much. Everyone else is already showing how this is full of it, how they're either off the mark, lacking an apology, or just in general wrong, but there are a few things I can bring up. For starties, starters, Lindsay wasn't the only one upset by that scene and to boldly flee. I was too. In fact, I saw the first... And I saw it first and told Lindsay about it and Doug about it and said how bad it was. Notice that my name wasn't included in the response. Weird, isn't it? I can also point out that the chat log doesn't address their, address their point, that they listened to the feedback on it. Oh sure, they did listen to it eventually. We don't deny that. But that's not what that chat log was about. And Linkara right now is touching on something that I was bringing up as well. They're misrepresenting the points that the people in the Not So Awesome document were making. Uh, let's see. And what's more, our problem was that the scene was written like that to begin with. Sure, the final product is not as bad as it was in the script, but why did it? Why did that ever get that far at all? Why did? Why did they still try to make it a sex joke despite all the implications we discussed? But hey, maybe that's just petty creative differences. It happens. Pretty shitty that it's Lindsay getting thrown under the bus about the creative difference, though. But hey, let's talk about another thing not being talked about a whole lot: the crossovers thing. They're absolutely right. We and this is a point that I made. They're absolutely right. We didn't have to come to the anniversaries and they didn't ask for crossovers. Well, for Suburban Nights anyway. See, it was to boldly flee where they asked us. During the anniversary movies, we have a group meeting in a hotel room to discuss the schedule. Michaud was there for to boldly flee's meeting. He said, and by the way, this trip was very expensive, so if you can make some crossovers, that'd be great. And hey, he could have just been facetious, and it's not exactly ordering us to do him. But then again, com communication has been kind of their problem from the start. But let's put a cork on that point. See, here's the thing. No, we didn't have to go to the anniversary movies, but they asked us to. They asked us to participate. They wanted us there. And we felt like we were part, we were part of the site. And one could see the anniversary movies as a prestige thing pushing particular creators over others and giving them a wider exposure as a result. It's very tempting and potentially good business. And since they wanted us, that also indicates that they recognized our value, that our presence was beneficial to them. I got incredibly lucky during my time at Channel Awesome. I managed to get enough of an audience to make this my full-time job. Others have not been so lucky. Others do this part-time even after 10 years. They just don't make enough on their ads or on their Patreon to justify going full-time. As such, they have other jobs, or at least this takes time away from making their own videos that help pay the bills. I was happy to hand over crossovers because it did seem like a fair trade-off. To me, not so fair to others. And I admit when Mashad was asking us even jokingly for crossovers, it felt a little iffy considering how much extra work I'd have to be doing on my own to help them when, at that point, they hadn't even told the other producers the critic was ending and they should prepare for it, especially when I was already participating in the movie and using my characters for it to advance their plot. Now I need to keep stressing this. I like the anniversary movies. I genuinely enjoy them. I am proud to have been a part of them. I do not regret my decision to help with them, use my characters in them, and the relationships I forged there will hopefully last the rest of my life. But don't believe for one second that it was some one-way streak that they were doing some great favor expecting nothing in return. As I've said, I was incredibly fortunate. Others were not, and they deserve more, a hell of a lot more respect than they've gotten. They deserved more input in how they were portrayed. They deserved more say in the dialogue than they had to speak. They deserved more support when they were attacked and harassed. And indeed, maybe they deserved to keep their damn crossovers so they could make some cash for a movie they weren't otherwise going to see a dime from. A movie that was the swan song for another character. A movie that implied things about them that were not true or that would have consequences for others. So yeah, I fully admit I signed that contract handing over my crossovers, but don't fucking tell me I should still be happy about it, or that you are the wronged party in all this. And especially don't you dare try to lay the blame at the victims of a lot of this. 
Let me just end this by reminding people not to harass the actors at Channel Awesome, the producers still a part of the site, or anything like that. You still don't know their situations, much like Channel Awesome management didn't know the situations of their individual producers, because they didn't care to. So be civil to those still there, be kind to the victims, and indeed, hashtag change the channel. Alright. I think that he addressed a lot of the points that I made and wanted and brought up when I was talking about this. That the point isn't that they broke contract. It's that people were taken advantage of. And that's uncomfortable. And it's okay to talk about being uncomfortable about that. So, again, I'd like to say the um, these accounts are being verified by people who have come forward, and it's it's been quiet for a long time, and there are... These accounts have been verified by a number of different people. Um, people who are on the inside, and in most cases don't really have anything to gain from it. So, I personally... I'm willing to believe them, but it's up, to, like, I, I'm not going to tell what, I'm not going to tell anyone else what to believe, of course. Um, I mean, that's kind of the point of my channel. I try not to tell people what to believe as much. I just try to tell a story. Apparently, the Channel Awesome forums just went down. I don't have anything more to add, so I'm going to close it out here. I, I just want to say that, again, um... I I I'm I am going to read super chats in just a minute here and that's going to and then after that the stream's going to end. Um but I want to say again this is the last I'm going to do on Channel Awesome most likely. Um I know that Channel Awesome is talking about releasing a video, but I don't really want to cover that. I feel that I've given them their fair shake with their response. They had 9 days to write this. They wrote it and we've addressed it. Also, the next thing I do won't be a live stream. Um, production on down the rab on the next down the rabbit hole begins next week. Um, and also, of course, thank you to everyone who's been supporting supporting me. Thank you for everyone on Patreon. Um, if I do continue talking about Channel Awesome, it will be on Twitter. So feel free to follow me there. Uh, my Twitter, I'm like ninety five percent sure I remember to put in the description. It should be there. So follow me there if you want me to share anything, uh, if you want to hear about anything else I have to say about the whole Channel Awesome debacle. Um, I will likely do a Channel Awesome stream. Um, or not stream, excuse me. I will do a Channel Awesome episode somewhere in the future after everything is settled down. And more of the facts are out. All right. Let's go ahead and read Super Chat. Let me get it. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, by the way. This has been an interesting ride. I Again, I did not intend to get as involved in this as I did. Let me see. What? Where is it? Give me. There we go. So, let us find the beginning of this. Here we go. Oh, nice. YouTube's making it nice and easy for me. Goodness gracious, there are a lot of Super Chats. We're going to start from the beginning of the stream. Let me just double check real quick. Interesting. All right. Just double checking everything to make sure we're okay. All 
All right, Enrique Love and Life, you got this man number one. <laughs> Thank you. I I think it went okay. I think I rambled a bit more than I should have. Let's see, Haiti Master Fusion, you are awesome. Puns. <laughs> thank you for the two Canadian. Then Enrique, thank you for the five. Spell Shell Mobile, thanks for the stream. I love your documentary series. Thanks a ton. Thanks for the 400 rubles. I'm pretty sure those are rubles. Are we going to have to discover new um, new currencies? Hazlitt, Heyendi. Thanks for the excellent content. Have two bucks. Thank you for the two bucks. Enjoy the content. Max Hammond, Fred, have you seen Wild Wild Country? It's a Netflix talk about Rajneesh Puram. I still haven't seen it. I know I should have by this point, but I, I haven't seen it yet. I've heard it's good, and I've heard that it acts as a nice counterpoint to my video and shows the Rajneesh in a more positive light, which I kind of wish I'd done. Thank you so much for the five. Jareth Jordanson, you've been the light of much of my YouTube existence these past few months. Oh man, thank you for all of your illuminating and informative content. It's my pleasure. Thanks for the five pounds. Slim Stevenson, here is Overprice's coffee money for you, my friend. <laughs> thank you for taking the time to talking to a little YouTuber like me. Hey, thanks for watching and thanks for hanging out. And thank you for the 10 Canadian. I don't drink coffee, but I'll, I'll, I'll use this for tea. How about that? Christian Boudreau. I think I actually pronounced that correctly. Boudreau. Keep it up with the great content, man. My pleasure. Oh, you know what we're missing? Do do do. Perfect. Keep it up with the great content. I. Hi, Rich Evans. <laughs> Very small Rich Evans. Does, did anyone else watch Vine Sauce's videos on. Um, what is it? It's the Island of Mies. It's... I, I cannot remember what it's called. No, Tomodachi Life. There was small face. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep it up as best I can. Thanks for the two. Derek in Space, thank you for the two as well. Emperor Tiger Star. Metallica versus Iron Maiden versus Black Sabbath? Iron Maiden. I love power metal and Iron Maiden is fantastic. Uh, Iron Maiden pretty much paved the way for power metal. Thanks for the two. Vera Witch, disgruntled individual squad. <laughs> thank you so much for the two pounds. That one Drew guy, thank you for the five. Shayna Olson, love your work. 199, thank you so much. For watching and thank you for that like these kind words real like these are really nice and they help a lot help keep the morale high deathly dear oh boy first paragraph in and i'm already pissed off future frederick by the time you see this i'm curious how mad i'll be by the end of this i'm curious feel free to dm me on twitter with how angry you actually ended up and thank you for the five zachary smith i want to hear you say the following words out loud are these actually bad words, or are these just nonsense words? I, I'm gonna come back to this. Um, hey, mod team, help me out. Let me know if these are actually bad. <laughs> we'll come back. Thank you for the five, Aussie. IT Weeb, Justin molesting while you resting, Carmichael. Oh, oof. Thank you for the five. Oof. Colt Revolver, in your own opinion, what will happen to Channel Awesome after this major backlash? I think that Doug Walker will be the last person on Channel Awesome, and they won't be able to justify a five-person administrative team. Thank you very much for the 10 Canadian. That, that's just my thought. The Night That's Blue, shoutouts to Rebel Taxi 99. Yeah, Rebel Taxi. Also, hi Nolan B. Wink. Winky face. Hi Nolan B. I'm saying that myself. Thank you so much for the 199. Nino of the Last Unicorn, this already feels so slimy. Here's five bucks to buy soap. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do, but I need to feel dirty after reading this. Thanks for the five. Spell Shell Mobile, oh my god, it was my first donation on streaming. YouTube should get rid of this exploit. Anyone with non-US currency could highlight his or her messages. 
Uh, moderators can delete uh, super chat messages, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, YouTube should get rid of this exploit. <laughs> I think. Hmm, is that an exploit? I, th I think I'm missing something. Maybe I'm just silly. Thank you for the hundred rubles. Question mark. Now, I'm, now I'm concerned. Ryan Vino. Vino. Oh God, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Thanks for all your work in making this ship public. Absolutely deplorable. It's not great. Thank you for the five Canadian. They're just BS words. No, let's see. Okay. I think we're fine to say those words. Here we go. This is, is this going to be like, hump it? Oi! Splorg, Fluj, Habes, Klug, Glorg, and fa fa fru fa Excellent. Perfect. I'm sure nobody's going to use that for anything. Callie Melton, I'm at a nail salon listening to this drag them free. <laughs> bad, bad rhetoric. Like, nasty rhetoric is bad. Poorly done nasty rhetoric is the worst. Thank you so much for the 4 dollars Austin L, don't worry, I'm angry about this channel too. I, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Thank you for the 279 Canadian. It's very specific. Cake Knight, in the wise words of Mr. O'Hare from the Lorax, let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and die. <laughs> Thank you for the five. Naughty words. Mm. I summon Satan. I'm not even kidding. I, did I mention this last stream? But when, I, I might have, but when the Globglow Gabgalab came out, I was afraid to say his name for, like, it, it was this dumb monkey part of my brain that was afraid to say it because of all, because I was like, what if this is actually a cult and they're trying to get me to say the words that will summon a demon? Because, like, it's really hard to do it. You have to pronounce it just right. And, they, and if they get enough people saying it, that they'll actually get it. <laughs> I know it's silly. S Slow King Cole. Nice name. Thanks for the dollar. The first Dalek. Oh. Hey, just wanted to say that while I only recently discovered your channel, I'm a big fan. I discovered you a day after you posted the Spoonie video. Glad you're ripping this awful rebuttal apart. My pleasure. And thank you for the 9.99. Seriously. Jake Vader, 93. I used to be a fan of Channel Awesome from around 2009 to 2012. Years later, I would always hear that Channel Awesome's business practice were shady or unprofessional. This is crazy. Yeah, I feel that. This kind of stuff, in general, has been known. But having it all collated in the same space makes it rough to read through. Thanks to the five. Verowich notices your views. Oh, whoa. Take your two pounds back. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Jimmy Seaver. They aren't even trying to defend themselves. They know what they did was wrong. Just absolutely disgusting from the very first paragraph. If they actually knew they were in the right or they felt they were in the right, they wouldn't use that kind of rhetoric. Um, and I think that's the point. Is that that's the reason that this was received so poorly and why, it, why the backlash was so strong is because it's clear... They had no response. They had nothing. Thanks for the five. Guy person man thing three, dong and only dong. So think about this. Now, the only person that's going to be left on the site is Doug and only Doug. <laughs> it was prophetic. Coke, Coke, Coke. That's not how negotiated contracts are usually written. Is that a contract of adhesion, one where there is no negotiation at all? Yeah, it looked funny to me, too. I don't know what R is. Can someone elucidate this for me in chat? We should be good. All right, someone help me out here. What is R? Anime Select, great work again. Also, this whole doc made me feel ill. From the Jane Doe's to the producers, you all have my love and support. Hashtag change the channel. Change the channel. There we go. Thank you for the five. Zane Abdullah, 
Dong Walker as the protagonist of Passion Gunshi. He's not going to be the protagonist of anything after this. Thanks for the two. IB Toonie. I think they still profited from ads on the videos. Someone mentioned it in a part of the document. I still went... I think when to boldly flee is mentioned. Okay. Interesting. Thank you for the five Canadian. Pokeball EXE, stop bullying Channel Awesome. I'm gonna call bully hunters on you. I saw that that was a thing and I don't know what it refers to. Um, I'm gonna look into that after stream's done. Let's check it out. Uh, but we'll check it out, at, like, not on stream, obviously. Hannah Kirby, yo, thanks for the Friday night entertainment. My pleasure. This is an absolute dumpster fire. I love that phrase, dumpster fire. <laughs> and you're doing great by giving it a lot of weight. Thank you so much. $20, seriously. Thank you so much. Anthony Vogel, a contract with only one signature and not binding. I don't know contract law, so I don't want to say anything. Um, and thank you for the 20 dicks. Dari, thanks for this, Frederick. Y'all check out Guru Larry's tweets. Guru Larry's Twitter right now is hilarious. Seriously, go check it out. Thank you for the $2. $2 a signal boost, Larry Bundy's Twitter. Please, Shadrush, please be safe, everyone. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, hold on. Hold on a moment. That's a lot of money. Um, that is in US 155, 28. Jesus, thank you so much. And yeah, please be safe, everyone. Agreed. Jazame, thanks for the inter thanks for entertaining us on Friday the 13th. Yeah. Mostly unlucky for Channel Awesome. Thanks for the 199. Coral of Earth, Mike Bishod. More like Muck McFry. <laughs> oh dear. Thank you for the two. Stetson999. I wanted to donate in some weird foreign currency, but I'm forced to donate in American dollars. Not my fault. I apologize if you're offended. How dare you give me $4.99 in American? Why can't you give me dicks like everyone else? <laughs> Peter uh, Grunbeck. Wait. Uh, Grunbeck. Peter Grunbeck. There we go. I cannot believe they made another cringy pun on company name in this response, too. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, you never disappoint Frederick. I never disappoint Frederick, which... For no, I'm just kidding with you. I love you from Denmark. Thank you for the crowns. Crowns? Crowns. Laura Peters, thank you for addressing the fact that some women's positive experiences do not negate other women's negative experiences. Great stream, great work. This isn't exclusive to women. This is true for everyone. Like, just because you treat one person nice doesn't mean you treat everyone nice. But yeah, uh, like, th this is true. S some, exper some positive experiences don't negate other negative experiences. Thank you for the five. Ganar Ganarumo. Search well the chart says on YouTube. That's this doc. Wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> I think I know what you're referring to. Thank you for the 420 euros. I will blaze it with that money. I actually don't smoke weed. Lithium Polygon, I love your work, ma'am. Learning what Ju Wario did has made me sick to my stomach. I really looked up to him. I even helped him out with his Sentai series. Now that I know what he did, I just feel awful. Bad people can do good things. People are not... It, it's not an average, always. It's people do good things and bad things. And you can appreciate the good things that they did and also acknowledge the bad things that they did. That's what I'll say. Thank you for the 10 pounds. Matterhorn Matt, just got here. What did I miss? <laughs> a lot. Thank you for the five. John Tony, I just wanted to say I've loved your videos ever since the Star Citizen, Star Citizen video. Thank you. Keep up the great work. I'll do my best. It's always fun to hear when people discovered my content and their feelings on it. Thank you so much for the five. Like, it, it, people's experiences uh, with my channel tend to be different based on when they started watching. DDT Shydale. I always want to believe want to believe seeing things from both sides of a story, but I feel Channel Awesome isn't really doing well defending themselves. 
which is a shame. You can see things from both sides and still acknowledge that one person's in the wrong. You don't, like, seeing things from both sides does not, like, it just means acknowledging both sides. It doesn't mean agreeing with both sides. Thanks for the five. Taylor Rike. Yes? Wreck? The Loch Ness Monster sends her regards. Thanks for the tree fitty. Acleus. Oh, oh my. This is all going to be messy. Yeah, that was really messy. Thank you for the two. Pezhead53. Glad I saw this one live. Keep up the great work. I, I did my best, and I'll keep doing my best. Thank you so much for the three bucks. The old Scrungo Beepus. Poetry. Hey, dude, I'm super nervous sending this, but I absolutely love your channel. Absolutely love your channel. And I watch it so often just to chill. So I, so I thought I'd return the good vibes with some colorful northern currency. P.S. My girlfriend says hi. Hi to both of you. I'm, I'm really glad. Like, I, I love that people can return to my videos. That's exciting. It feels good. I like being a channel that can both be binged and um, enjoyed over and over again. Hey. Makes me fuzzy on the inside. Thanks for the 20 Canadian. Seriously. Peter's back. Massive inflation, the Donkey Kong coin has made making donations difficult. However, I think your content is of a high enough quality that I can forego eating for a day or two. Jesus, man, no. Take care of yourself first, please. I, I appreciate it, but make sure that you're fed. Please, love your work. I, I'm really glad you enjoy it. Note to self, 100 dicks will get me a couple days of food. But seriously, like, take care of yourself. Wolf Coder, there's a familiar face. Thanks for doing this again, Frederick, of course. It felt fair. Like, I, I wanted to give them a chance to deliver a rebuttal. Thank you for the 10. God, you're the person who kept donating over and over again and extending the last stream. Aura Blade 296, that clip of Lupa was meant to be part of the DVD. Yeah, so even if it wasn't immediately after, I doubt she'd be negative about her experience. Love your work, by the way, Fred. Thank you so much. And yeah, um, I imagine that you said this before um, I mentioned it on the stream. But yeah. But thanks for bringing it up, just in case I did miss it. And thank you for the 999. Seriously, like all of these, I, I want to take a moment and say, like, these kinds of of donations and support, super chats, this, it's more than just like money to me. This is like people willing to support me doing what I love because I love what I do. Just by the way, I adore my job. DKK is like 10 cents, it's like 15, okay, gotcha, gotcha. People are helping me out. It's like $15, man. Thanks, for th thank, thank you for the 15 equivalent. But yeah, like, this kind of stuff really, it means a lot that people are willing to support me doing what I love. Tori Jameson. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh shit, I skipped one. A rising star. Thank God I caught this. I've been extremely invested in this shit. A lot of people have. I'm actually less invested in this than most people who are watching, I think. But I did find it important and interesting. Thank you for the five. Now let's continue. A okay. <laughs> Thank you for the 420. Michael Roche. Dear God, these people these people almost look like they're trying to be the least likable people in Chicago. It reads like someone it reads like an extremely unlikable person trying to sound likable. Thank you for the 499. Acorn Cap, not a single person wasn't miserable, was a complaint onto Boldly Flea. Allison's clip was in response to Suburban Nights. To be fair, it was allegedly worse. Thank you for clarifying this. A lot. And thank you for the five. Thank you, message deleted, for the two dollars. <laughs> Vero Witch, this response is just, how dare you accuse us of small dongs. Our dongs are very big, thank you very much. <laughs> Pretty much. I can't be the only person who's known people like this. Love from me and my girlfriend. Thanks for reading this. My pleasure. And thank you for the five pounds. 
Lord Hattie, dear lord, this has just been one huge clusterfuck. 100% worth staying up for though, and I'm still waiting on the, a passion gun she kickstarter. <laughs> I swear, if I become, like, a multi-millionaire or something, just for fun, I'll have one episode produced. And I'll get people on YouTube or something. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 pounds. Moat of Lobros, hearing the allegations about Jew Wario hurts. I did not watch Jew Wario's content, so I think that um, a lot of the weight is lost on me. But still, I know that he meant a lot to a lot of people, and, and I know it's been rough. By the way, this music is Spyglass by Kevin McLeod. Yeah, thank you for the two bucks, Moat. Loose Cat 56. Mike Mishad does shoddy work. Ah, uh, ah, uh, thanks for the five. <laughs> Moat's back. It's like hearing Rob Williams' eight baby. Robin Williams' eight babies. A little, like, again, I, I heard that uh, Jew Wario's public image is really good. So, yeah, it hurts. Jasmine L. Frederick, you are my passion. Gunji, don't do this to me. <laughs> Holy cow. Thank you so much for the 50. Damn. Thank you so much. This is... This is... Significant. Max Mariner, the transfer of the really goes. All right, well, um... I, I, I don't want to go into into these too much. Um, the thank you for the 199. Kyle Prescott, most of Channel Awesome's response is astoundingly self-incriminating to the point where I'm unsure if anyone running the site could be considered sapient anymore. I... See, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure it was just Mashad, and everyone else was told to run along with it. That's what it feels like to me. I can't verify it. That's what it feels like. Oh my god, Dick Buttocks is in the stream chat. I pinned one of your comments to one of my videos. I remember you. <laughs> I know they are in a super chatter. All they said was gun she. I'm glad that you're still on your A game. Not mode of Lobros. Again! Welcome back. Not defending Jew, Jew Wario, by the way. Just feel betrayed. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people feel that way. Thanks for the two. Ill 5 up 6 thank you for the two Canadian. Brian Adkins, Jesus Christ, what a mess. This whole thing has just been depressing. I hope I could bring some levity. This one was more depressing than the last one, though, because I kind of had things planned out. Thank you for the five. Zemeckis Lebowski, what a name. Love your stuff, dude. It's a good name. Channel Awesome Drama has been crazy. It's been a ride. I think that my favorite part of this whole thing has been Larry Bundy Jr., And his hardcore memeing. Thank you for the two. Caesar S. I don't want to say I was wrong and messed up, but I'm also way too insecure about my leadership skills to say otherwise. Oh well. Plot hole. Accurate. That's kind of what it feels like. Thank you for the 999. Jasmine, your chat really went all to hell. Guess that's what we get for trending. Yeah, it happens. Thank you for the 499. Wolf Coder, disappointed all the transfer. Okay, yeah, well, th thank you for the 10. Sorry, I. Again, I. I, I don't want to bring this up. I don't want. I don't want chat to start exploding again. But yeah, thank you for the 10. And Max Mariner, thank you for the 499. Sarki Soliloquy, I've never had an attachment to any of Channel Awesome's creators, but Nostalgia Critic has influenced many of the amateur rant channels I followed in my early net years. By the way, love down the rabbit hole. Your objective lucid lens is admirable, Fred. I want to clarify something. I am not objective. I definitely have opinions. I definitely like... like and they do come across in the videos. I, I am by no means completely objective, like, nobody is completely objective. What I try to do is create a narrative, and so sometimes that means skimming over information or leaving it out partially for brevity. I try to keep it at least somewhat objective, but there is a point where I do stop and say, I need to, like, create a narrative, and as long as it isn't disingenuous, or I don't feel it's disingenuous, um, I will make the small decisions. Professor Badger, I just want you to know I, I read... Like, I'm sometimes looking at chat. Popping in to tell you that your in-depth video has always been my favorite thing to watch. Glad you liked it. 
I've never had an attachment to any of Channel Awesome's- uh, yeah, we already read that. Also, Sarky, I recognize you. Sup. Thanks for the 20. Diabolical Pupil, love your content. Thanks for diving back into this hellhole. Doug, and only Doug. <laughs> that's all that's left. Thank you for the 10. The noodle doodle. This response is just sad in every sense of the word. Yeah. Hold on. An okay, uh, an okay currency. Right. The chrome. The right. We've already been over this. It's the Norwegian crone. I'm silly. All right. Thank you. That's the point thirteen of the U.S. dollar. So that's hold on. That's that's like five bucks. Wait. Yeah, it's like five bucks. A little over. Thank you very much. Kyle Prescott, I refuse to believe the provided contract is legally binding in any way, considering that there is no signature from a lawyer or a public notary. I, I honestly don't know. It's possible. Thanks for the five. Zayn Abdullah, welcome back. You're a more legit journalist than the people who do it for a living. Keep it up, Fred. Love the videos. I don't want to disparage anyone. I don't want to say, like, I'm better than anyone. I don't think that's really fair to anyone. But I do try to keep it fair, and I only can I, I can only do as well as well as well as I can. That I know that was a really recursive statement, but I do my best is what I'm trying to say. I'm not really a journalist. I wouldn't consider myself that. I didn't go to journalism school. I, I'm just a literature major. But I I, do, I I get what you're saying, and and I appreciate the sentiment. I I really do. Thank you for the five. I hope that didn't come off as unthankful. Bezelbub, keep up the good work. I'll do my best. Thank you so much for the 10. You're helping me keep it going. I think I'm only getting better. Nick Thiessen, depressing and quality content as always. Frederick, I'll try to make the next one a little less depressing. <laughs> Glad Channel Awesome is getting heat for this. Looking forward to the next down the rabbit hole. Casualties of Cool was pretty neato. I know, right? I love Casualties of Cool. Thank you for the 10. Darkside Ballerina, thank you for your coverage of the situation. I usually fall asleep during your live streams, but I'm glad I stayed awake for this one. Keep up with the good work. I'll do my best. I'm I'm glad. I, I'm glad that my voice can be enjoyable. It can help put you to sleep. I actually like that fact. Thank you for the 10. Baron Von Penguin. Have some drinks on me. <laughs> Thank you. This is worse than a shit show. This is an atrocity. I commend you for treating these, these serious accusations and the information with respect. Sincerely, a long time sub. I try. Again, I try to stay skeptical, but at this point, there are enough people backing it up. And, like, more reliable people that I'm willing to believe them more than disbelieve them. Thank you so much for the 1399 Canadian. Hat matter. Where are your numblies be keeping me wee men? Good icon. Love your content, you're pretty damn awesome. I'm glad. I hope that wasn't a pun. <laughs> a voice crack. Goodness gracious. My voice is not doing well. Thank you for the two. Alright, we're gonna refresh. F5. How many more? Let, let's... Oh my god, what happened? I think this is more than doubled. Oh my god. What? Why did they all come at the end? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Jesus. What? This is absurd. Klein line. Have some North Korean crowns, my dude. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred. Mariner man, my subscription from Channel Awesome now goes to you, my friend. Aw. Your coverage was excellent on the downfall. Keep working hard. I'll do my best. Thanks for the five. Shane Boatwright, can you help the rest of us run suicide prevention on Micah Curtis? He's taking this pretty hard. I don't really know what I can do. I mean... I, I don't actually... Like, I don't know Micah. Hold on. I'd say, like, supporting people who you know that are taking this bad are... Like, that's important right now. That's really important right now. Alright. 
Monica Ferris, that interview was really well done, Fred. I appreciate your willingness to give Iron Liz a platform. All I did was let her talk. It was the easiest interview in the world. <laughs> but thank you either way. Thank you for the five Canadian. Princess Scotch Tape. I don't know how to feel about the Jew Wario stuff. It's rough. I, there's no... It's just uncomfortable. Thanks for the two. Danny Gray, thanks for your work, Fred. My pleasure. Currents, oh, PHP. Oh, the, right, Philippine. Philippine Piso, right. I know about this. Thank you for the 50 pesos. VVVVV. Thanks for the 10. Quality name. Wait, that's a, right, that's the game. Durr. I haven't played it yet. It looks really good. Natushi P. Missed the stream because of work. Keep up the good work, Freddy Boy. I'll do my best. Thank you for the five. The five has helped me keep going. Mobile, Tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling. It, it does feel that way, doesn't it? Thanks for the five, Aussie. Caps Lock 3. Will you play Code Vein, a.k.a. Anime Dark Souls? I... maybe? Question mark? I have a lot of games I need to get through. Thanks for the two. Malcolm Robinson, have a good weekend and keep up the awesome work. I'll do my best. I'm gonna take a long weekend, I think. This has been stressful. This was actually more stressful than the previous stream. Thank you for the two. Brad left. All right. There can be only one. Lord Loudmouth, I always thought you were Scandinavian, but I guess you aren't since you don't stream during people hours. <laughs> Also, good content. Make more of it. I, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Thank you for the five euros. Snurd Burglar. Quality name. Wow. Maybe throwing some money at you will kill that hollow feeling. <laughs> oh, God. It It's rough for people who have been fans. And my, my condolences. This has been rough. At least the, most of the creators are still around. Thank you for the five. Two GP missed. <laughs> Two bucks to correct a spelling error. Quality. Alien Hominid 2000. Whole world new Channel Awesome scandal. Channel Awesome response equals nostalgia critic release. Jack and Jill ignoring the problem. I mean, they're, honestly, they're just going to keep going. Like, with the nostalgia critic. That's all they've got left. And they're going to keep doing it because a lot of people aren't going to know about this and they'll be able to keep going. P.S. Forgot to mention down the rabbit hole Andrew Dobson. A pleb comic and Tumblr beat me to it. Great video again. Garside, I just noticed your chat. Don't you? Morgan, you too. You plebeians, a lot of you. No, I'm kidding. Sup, dude. Thanks for the 20. Jimmy Seaver, if you like Iron Maiden, you may like Sabaton. You're implying that I don't already love Sabaton. Through the gates of hell. Great band. Just by the way, even if their Latin is atrocious, <laughs> they mispronounce a bunch of Latin words, I'm pretty sure. But I love their music anyway. Thanks to, thanks for the $2. Zephronius, came for the Channel Awesome livestream, stayed for the rest of your awesome content. Stay cool, dude. Hey, I'm, I'm glad that this can be a gateway into the rest of my content. Thank you for the five. Von Tux. Pat Contry, Pat the NES punk was involved with Jew punk was involved with Jew Wario. Did Pat know about the alleged sexual misconduct? One has to wonder. It's a good question. Thank you for the five. The great Saya Man. Thank you for all the great work. You quickly become one of my favorite content creators, and I look forward to the to the future of your stuff. I, I'm gonna keep doing my best. Thank you for the 999. Thanks for helping me keep going. Garrus Vicarian's back! With 199, thanks, dude. <laughs> also, Garrus is the real romance. Shepard and Garrus complete each other, and you can't convince me otherwise. You can't change my mind. Hey, Shayna Olson, you said my name right. Thank you. I hope I pronounced it right the second time too. <laughs> Thank you for the 199. Ashland Orser, hey, dude, love your stuff. You're doing good work, and I can't wait to see what comes next. And if anyone disagrees, then I'm sorry they feel that way. <laughs> Oof. Thank you for the 10. Shadow Ryu. Just in case no one has brought it up again, we can't forget Passion Gunshi. I don't think I'm going to be able to live it down. Don't worry. Thank you for the 5. 
Teching 101. Dang, just got here at the very end. Don't worry, the VOD will be up. Anyway, I'll enjoy watching this later. Have a great night, everyone. Yep, have a great night, everyone. Thank you so much for the 15. Venetus 59. Jesus, this is going to be longer than the actual episode. Thanks for the great content. My pleasure. Thanks for the five. Garrus Vicarian is back. What's your favorite Iron Maiden album? So here's the thing. I haven't actually listened to a lot of Maiden. When most people were listening to Maiden, I was listening to like Hammerfall, Sabaton, Camelot, Epica, um, Nightwish, that stuff. Like, so I, I just never got into Maiden. By the way, I still need to listen to Camelot's new album. Maybe that's what I should do tonight. Thank you for the two. That one Drew guy. I screwed up earlier and didn't get to type anything. Oh no! <laughs> Love these streams. Love your work. Needed some levity. Oh, and all hail Guru Larry. Hello, you. Yeah, voice crack. Thanks for the five. Hannah Kirby, got to appreciate a dude who can read terrible rhetoric and explain why it's terrible. Please get a stiff drink. I will. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm actually probably going to get tea more so. Hipster? Yanu, only a little bit. I, I I try to keep my analysis of the rhetoric as, like, surface level as possible, because I, I could really get in there if I wanted to. But I, I don't want to make it ridiculous. Long beef, thanks for the five. Demiface, do a down the rabbit hole on Ken Penders. He's a former writer for the Archie Sonic comic and is insane. Oh, don't worry. I'm very aware of him. Thanks for the four ninety nine. Colrin. Wah. Oh, that's depressing. Thanks for the two. Do not touchy me. Thanks for the one Canadian. Hey, I know you. Love this channel. Love the variance in subject matter. Love the depths you go to. Love the videos. I owe you at least this much. Man, thank you so much. By the way, by the way, if none of you have seen it, go YouTube search... Like, or just look up this guy's video up to my knees. He's, um, oh my god, hold on. I literally had your name in my head, like, 30 seconds ago, and my brain is fried right now. I forget my own, like, it takes me a second. I know your name, and I'm a complete moron. Max Landis, thank you. So, Max Land- I'm- I'm sorry, dude. That- that is not a great reflection on me. <laughs> Goodness gracious. But no, Max Landis did an amazing video called, um, Eat Your Ashes, I believe it is. Th that video has so much truth that it's painful. Watch it. It is one of my favorite videos on YouTube. Eat Your Ashes. Absolutely genius. Thank you so much for the 20, dude. How did I forget your name? Literally any other day of the year, I could, I could immediately. Max Landis. Bam. And of course, the moment you talk to me, my brain goes empty. Guy Person Man Thing. Welcome back. Channel awesome to be rebranded to DougAndLarry.com. <laughs> Oof. Thanks for the two. Nick Thesey, and one last thing and down the rabbit hole suggestion, YouTube star. Hold on. I'm putting that in YouTube. Okay. I'll, I have it in place, so I can go back to it. Please forgive me, Max. <laughs> I am the worst. Thank you so much for the two, Nick. Outer Zeven. It's Zeven? And go with that. It's fascinating to see the administration of a business go scorched to earth on what they've built for the last 10 years. It wasn't intentional. I really don't think they meant to. I think that they thought they... I think that Mishad thought he was doing the right thing. Thank you for the five. God's burden. This is for a cheeseburger for you. I will get a cheeseburger. This will go towards a cheeseburger. Thank you for the 199. Nick you, dang, there's only four people left on the site right now. I think there's fewer. They haven't taken everyone off yet that, is, that have left. Also, thank you for going over this. You've been the best at covering the docs. I'm, I hope that my commentary hasn't gotten in the way too much. 
Thank you for the 50 D. Oh boy. We're going to learn again today. New tab. Danish crones. This happened, like, I've got a lot of people from Scandinavia watching, I've noticed. We already learned this last time and I forgot. Thank you for the 50 crones. Dark Side Ballerina, I just <laughs> I just realized my new favorite content creator, you, is critiquing my old favorite content creators, Channel Awesome Crew. I upgraded. <laughs> I'm flattered. I, I I don't know that you can really compare me though. Like, not not in terms of like, wow, I'm so much better. More in terms of like my content is completely of a different breed compared to theirs. Very, very different. But thank you for the five. I'm I'm glad that you're enjoying the channel. Do not touch me. No, don't touch. Great content, my favorite YouTube channel. Anyways, please do not touch me. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Don't touch me. Thanks for the five Canadian. Pinky culture. I'm an hour late. Can I get a quick recap? Um, Channel Awesome's rebuttal was embarrassing, and they outed a sexual abuser who the victims did not want outed for fear of reprisal because Channel Awesome is clumsy and absurd. Thank you for the two. There's your recap. Thank you for the five. Message deleted. <laughs> Ninja Zaku. This controversy is causing a brewing of giant conspiracies. This is going to explode. I wonder how much conspiracy there actually is. I'm sure 4chan will get on it. The finest detectives on 4chan. Thank you for the 499. Darkside Ballerina, back. Also, thanks for introducing me to the SCP Foundation. My pleasure. I adore it. Thank you for the two. Iverson Tucker, hello again. Thanks for doing this. My pleasure. Thank you for the 299. Dr. Leviathan, thank you for the five. Tobin Walker, Empress Teresa was the first I saw. You're great. What a way to get introduced to my channel. <laughs> Empress Teresa, thank you so much. This, oh, 420 Canadian. Perfect. I'm going to eat three weeds tonight. Neo, keep up the great work. I love your documentaries. This is kind of funny. I almost feel like my videos aren't documentaries because they're so weird. Like, they're not a traditional documentary format. I don't do a lot of my own video capture, and I'm very limited. I'm one person working on an extremely limited budget. But, so... I, I feel weird taking on the moniker of documentary, but I appreciate it either way. I'm, I'm glad, I'm really glad that you like, like whatever the hell it is I make. Thank you for the 199. Wolf Coder, 350, just because. Thank you. <laughs> Iverson Tucker, oh whoa, I love your videos. Notices your super chat. What's this? Thanks for the 199. <laughs> Nino of the Last Unicorn, back for more. Man, can't you keep the stream going? I'm at work for another two hours, and this is already making it better. Oh man, I'm glad. Are you really going to force me to try to find music to listen to? How dare you? Actually, I'm going to be recording music kind of soon-ish? That, that, I might do that in the near future, like in the next couple weeks. For fun. You'll see. We'll see. We get to learn together. Thanks for the 10. Matt, have another beer on me. Thanks, man. Thanks for the five. I'll get a speckled hen with that. God, I love speckled hens. Logan Shirley, do you think it's a coincidence that Channel Awesome dropped the new Nostalgia Critic on YouTube right as you started streaming? Yeah, this is just when he uploads. Guy Person Man Thing, thumbs up in the chat if you think Fred is a cutie. So here's the thing. People keep calling me cute and adorable, and I don't know what I do that makes it that way. Like, at this point, enough people have done it to, like, have said it that it's not a coincidence anymore, and I'm not sure what I'm doing. I mean, I'll take it. I, like, thank you. I don't mind being cute. But still, I don't know what it is. Thanks for the two dollars. Wolf Coder. Oh yeah, recommend some more power metal. I love that stuff. I have so much stuff saved on Spotify. My, so just by the way... There is a band I've become obsessed with recently called Ignea, I-G-E-N-A. They're a small 
band that just like recently in the last few years started up. They're from Ukraine and they are amazing. Look up Ignea. Seriously. They are amazing and they need, they deserve more support. I think that there's a lot of metal in the Middle East that just isn't making it out because they're, they don't have enough money. So please support Ignea and love, like, I, they are a breath of fresh air if you enjoy power and symphonic metal. Thank you for the five. Jimmy McRussler, oof, did I miss the reading? Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Thank you for the five pounds. Marquis Obscurite, here's a momentary amount of, monetary amount of a potato. I will get exactly one potato with this. Galaxy Owls. Ooh. Thank you for all of your content. Love everything you do. Keep it up. I'll, I'll do my best. And thank you for the five. You're helping keep it going, man. Eli Gully, this whole thing has made all of the Jew Wario tribute, view, tribute videos so much more awkward now, to say the least. Yeah, I think a lot of people didn't know. I, I'm willing to bet that a significant number of people in the Channel Awesome community did not know. Um, but I, uh, there, there may be people who know better. Um, that's just my guess with what little I know. Thanks for the four ninety nine. Peter's back, spending a generous tax refund here. Oh man, you were joking earlier. Okay, I, <laughs> I, I, okay. I that makes me feel better. I've been watching since Chris Chan. Man, ancient. And I want to show my appreciation. Man, thanks for sticking around. I'm I'm so glad that that people are have been enjoying my content for that long. And I'm and I hope that it's staying fresh. Thank you for the 50 dicks. Hopeful commoner. I love all your work so much. Keep up the amazing work. You're great. I always suggest your videos to everyone I talk to. Man, I've brought this up before, but if someone is willing to recommend my videos to the to other people, to their friends, that is massive. Like this is so good that I think other people would enjoy it. It's If they're willing to share it, that's a huge... Like, it, it's super flattering. Thank you so much for the 10. Lord Dalek, thanks for the one. Caesar S, found your channel with the Sonichu train. Good work. Yeah, that was my second video. I, I think it helped kickstart my channel. I was really on the fence about making that video, actually. That'd be an interesting thing to talk about sometime. Thanks for the 199. Noob Dragoon, Lost JPEG turns 10 on June 2nd. Control Alt Delete video? I'm more interested in the evolution of, of Control Alt Delete's like artistic style and like the way that he handled um, the way that they handled publicity as they went on. Because it feels like they really grew into themselves. And that'd be fun to look into. But I don't know if it would make a good down the rabbit hole. I could check. Thanks for the two. Jeshire Cat, thank you for talking about this. You seem like a cool guy and really deserve the support. I'm glad you think so. I I try to be chill. I I'm I mean, streams are still stressful, but I'm comfortable like my forward I, I'm comfortable going live because I feel like I'm not like I'm an okay guy so I can be a little looser thanks for the two I just looked in chat and someone men mentioned master passion greed and poet in the pendulum poet in the pendulum is godly beep boop beep boop I love your videos so much I found you through the Chris Chan video oh wait a minute I skipped one McGeeby Desis Every time you say Dug Dong Gad Gab Galab, he <laughs> Dug Dong Gab Galab, he grows. Mm. Expand Dong Dug Dong Gab Galab. Thanks for the two. Beep boop. I love your videos so much. I found you through the Chris Chan video and binged ever since. I don't know much about this channel awesome stuff, but it's such a clusterfuck. Accurate. I can't stop watching stuff about it. It, this has been brewing for a while. People have seen it coming. It was just a matter of time. Thank you so much for the 10. Katie Real, been here since Chris Chan, staying forever. <laughs> I'm so glad. Thank you for the 199. Anthony Gates, Doug will die. 
I mean, we're all gonna die. That got dark. Thanks for the 10. Shad Rouge, thank you for pronouncing my name correctly. Hey. Thanks for the 20 Aussie bucks. Lord Dalek, thanks for the stream. I just delivered a sheep. Congratulations. <laughs> I I appreciate this on a postmodern level. <laughs> Thank you so much for the two. Jackson Jackson Satterley, if Mishad was a Primarch, which would he be? Uh hmm. He would be Rogaldorn. Just terrible decision making across the board. Leading his army into ruin. <laughs> he he would be Rogaldorn. Specifically the ki the the version of him that's portrayed in If the Emperor Had a Text to Speech Device. Thank you for the five. Josie what she's do. Yes? I think it's Josie. It's lady Avatar. Your content has quickly become my favorite on YouTube, and your videos help calm me down when I'm anxious. Truly, sincerely, thank you so much for the effort you put into making your videos and streams. Man, this feels good. Because I make, t I make videos on really weird stuff. And to know that it can still, like, knowing that the other elements of it are calming enough makes me feel really good. I recently, uh, okay, like 30 second tangent I went I, I watched The Shape of Water recently and there are some things in that movie that are profoundly uncomfortable but I still felt comfortable watching it because of the way it was presented I watched it and I'm like that's what I want to do that's what I want to be able to do and this right here makes me feel so good ah. so thank you this, this, this means a lot I'm stuttering a lot because I'm so a little bit stressed out and nervous over this, but thank you. Yeah, just by the way, Shape of Water was amazing. Thank you for the 10. Zephronius, apparently right before the Channel Awesome response went up, Rob Walker put up a pic of something on fire, then made his Facebook private. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you for the five, and for letting me know about this. This makes me happy. Roy, fuck Warlock. Fred, you're my weird topic research hero. You make me feel valid for spending collective days of my life reading about the Toynbee tiles and Emmer Prevost. The Toynbee tiles are pretty fun to look into, by the way, you guys. They're, it's not super deep, but it's fun, and it's interesting. Thank you for the five. Emmer Prevost is something I'm not familiar with. I am going to leave that as a tab open. I hope the music isn't getting annoying. I figure it might be. Lithium Polygon, back again. I found your channel th through your Empress Teresa video, been hooked ever since. Oh. I think that... No, you commented something else. Yeah, by the way, you're the first person I've ever super chatted. Man, thank you. I... Again, Empress Teresa video. What a video to come in on. Thank you for the five. The five pounds. Cosmic the Dolphin. Changed my IP with software to make YouTube think I'm not from Ecuador so I could send a super chat. Above and beyond. Thank you so much. And thanks for the five. Colt Revolver. Thanks for answering my question. Here's another one. Another super chat? Or question? I think you meant super chat. And unless you forgot to type a question. In which case, I'm sorry. I think you meant Super Chat, though. Thank you for the two Canadian. Skakdia, Ma Skakdia MC? I think? Down the Rabbit Hole is my favorite series on YouTube. It makes my day. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, that makes me really happy to hear. Thanks for the 199. Jessica Ustas. Came for the Chris Chan. Stayed for the weird miscellany. Any hints for upcoming topics for Down the Rabbit Hole? Also, Passion Gunshi. Omae wa mou shinderu. <laughs> so I'm 
I don't want to give it too much away. I may be, I, I am going to be doing a video on the Hurdy Gurdy. That's the one that I've confirmed, but I might be doing it as a live panel and, and like as a live sort of informational concert, giving history and its place in modern media and also playing it a ton because, oh my God, I love the Hurdy Gurdy so much. I love playing it. Thank you for the five. Jessica Ustas. Train Pass. I remember I remember Rebel Taxi's crew talking shit about Channel Awesome years ago. Excuse me. Th thought they were being over dramatic at first, but now. Ooh! Love ya. Eee. That was low effort. <laughs> On my part, not Train Pass's part. This is excellent. Thank you so much. And thank you for the five. Kennedy! Don't do this to me! Just by the way, Kennedy. So, I do Twitch stream, and Kennedy at this point has given me over 100,000 bits, for reference. Kennedy is insane. Thank you for the two. Seriously. Lunos Nocturne. I'll, I'll see you later, Kennedy. I'll see you. Um, I might not stream tomorrow just to relax, but we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Lunos Nocturne, thank you for acknowledging that you are not objective. It's impossible to be objective, and even if it were possible, it's more important to be fair. I think that this statement is really important and good. It's impossible to be objective, and even if it were possible, it's more important to be fair. Be fair. That's the most that we can ask from anyone. Lunos Nocturne, thank you for saying this. And thank you for the five. Vera Witch, again! Thank you again and good night, you mad lad. Keep seeing people saying your hair is Draco Malfoy-like. What's your Hogwarts house, if any? I've been told Hufflepuff. At least that, that's what I've been told. From someone who likes Harry Potter a lot more than me. Also, I got a really nice haircut. And, like, this is the first time that I'm actually really happy about my hair, and I think it looks nice, so I'm, I'm very happy about this. He he he. Thank you so much for the five pounds. Dracul Joshi. Love these videos and I keep watching their subs drop live on socialblade.com. Oh dear. It's the gift that keeps on giving. CHF. Uh. Ah. CHF. The Frank. Oh. Gotcha. Thank you for the five francs. That's about five bucks. It's pretty close to the American dollar. Cool stuff. All right, refresh. How many more? I'm trying to catch up. Okay, it's a little bit less crazy this time. Oh wait, no it's not. Jesus. People are just pledging again. Or pledging, I'm used to Patreon. Goodness gracious. Okay, hold on. Um, I just- Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, no, 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 um, so no. Here we go. Rick Sanchez. USA just stuck Syria. Russia is responding. Seriously? Seriously. Wait, for real? Holy shit. All right, then. I don't know enough right now to say anything. Jesus, okay. We'll just stay focused for now. Thank you for the two pounds. The first Dalek, I went from being upset to genuinely pissed at Channel Awesome after their rebuttal. This stream was just as enjoyable to sit through as last week's. Thanks again. I'm glad. I was worried that I went a little bit overboard on my analysis, but I mean, it would have been super short. I don't think World War 3 is going to happen, by the way. 
I don't think anybody's willing to launch nukes. Trump launches precision strikes in Syria. I, I don't think World War III is going to start. I don't think anyone is willing to launch nukes. And if someone is, they're going to be stopped. I'll, j I'll just say that much. I'm going to try to remain calm and stay focused. I'm glad that the stream was enjoyable. I, I at least, I hope that it generally was. I, people seem to be enjoying it. Thanks for the five. Mario Fanboy, go check Channel Austin. Two more people have been taken off. I believe it. Thanks for the two. Being overly sensitive? Big ol' bear? Probably. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I think that this really is just a we'll see situation. Troll Niston, couldn't let my Nordic neighbors win. You are awesome. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Oh boy. I'm not dumb, I promise. Thanks for the that that's Swedish. Okay. Thanks for the Krona. The 20 Krona. Julie Lineberry. Keep up the amazing work. I hope to support you and your content more in the future. As an off-the-wall question, what kind of tea do I like? I'm not picky, um, though I do rinse my tea. I I really like green tea. Green tea is my favorite. Um, I found myself, especially recently, um, partial to Gen Mai Cha and Sen Cha. But thank you for the five. Ryan Garside. So by the way, you guys know, um, if you guys have seen the Grim Archives, and you hear the music at the beginning of, like, the Down the Rabbit Hole, the current, um, the current intro, like, theme, if you could call it. Um, you know, that creepy sound that comes in with the logo of the show. That was made by Ryan Garside. He's, he's my buddy. We were, um, he's actually the drummer for the old band I was in. And he's fantastic, by the way. We're, we're making music together again. And that'll that'll happen soon-ish, relatively, especially if I free up my schedule. But now that I have my Gertie, we want to make some like folk metal or some melodic metal with Gertie. Today's payday, so here's a ten, my dude. You did a good job. Yo, Garside, did you know that Homestar Runner is actually uploading shit onto YouTube? They're doing new animations. I kid you not. We. <laughs> You should check it out next time I come down. Brenda Cordoba. Thank you so much for your content, Fred. Your videos are a delight. I delivered your chan- I discovered- delivered? Discovered your channel through your CWC video, and I've been a fan since then. Keep up the amazing work and up the irons. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thanks for the hundred arses. Perfect. Now, now we've got a ton of dicks and arses. Excellent. Just in case. Hey, Bad Dragon, you want to sponsor me? I'll use your dildos to frost some fucking pastries. That bastard. <laughs> Thank you for all the amazing content. Thank you for the 50 crowns. I'll, I'll keep doing my best. Zren, thanks you, thank you for the New Zealand? I believe. One dollar. Dracul Joshi's back. Dude, Dragon Force is best. Um, I'm not as partial to them anymore. I definitely used to enjoy them. Mellow Folk Metal would be fucking sweet to hear, actually. So, funny thing, I think that the Hurdy Gurdy works better in melodic death metal than it does folk metal. I know that sounds weird, but I think that sounds better. Wolf Coder, Freedom Call. Man, that's not, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. <laughs> Thank you for the five. Lord Hattie, from the depths of hell in silence, cast their spell, explosive violence, Russian nighttime flight perfected, flawless mission undetected. Aw, oh, ma'am. Those are Sabaton lyrics. Can't sneak that by me. Thanks for the five pounds. Juniper, hey! 
I never heard of Jew Wario before any of this happened. But having had multiple people I've looked up to turn out to be horrible, I can relate vicariously. Guys, I'm really gonna try not to be horrible. I'm really gonna try. Dracul Jossi. Joshi. Oh, and don't you dare confusing Switzerland and Sweden. <laughs> I'll do my best. Right, we already went over this. Ranks. Slim Steven, Passion Gunshi Tide Cube arc was the best, but Mother Horse Eyes to the Void needs more love. Now get a Chi T. <laughs> Thank you for the five Canadian. Smart Guy 725, hey fam, started with your SCP and CWC vids. Caught your live streams on YouTube. Wanted to say keep up the work and also SCP related stream when? I wouldn't be opposed. Thanks for the five. Loosecat56, the brony community is a good, good example of handling the grooming a person for sex scandal. They kept quiet online and told the authorities as soon as they had solid evidence. It's hard to judge an entire fandom by, like, the actions of some. I don't like calling out certain fandoms and saying what, like, this fandom did this because there's just so much. Um, there are so many different groups within fandoms. Yeah, thank you for the uh, thank you for the fourteen ninety nine. Thank you so much, Keiko and Gilly. Welcome from the UK. I think people call you cute due to your reactions and voice. As a noob VA, I wish you well and keep the rabbit hole series going. Okay, I don't know what it is about my voice though. I need, I don't know. Maybe there's no scientific way to do it. Thank you. Th thank you for the five pounds. Morally dubious dragon. Frederick, could you could you who cute me again? Ooh. Thanks for the two. Troll Niston. Also been a fan since first video, fell in love. Thank you so much. That's so cool. It's cool to hear people that have been here since the first. Man, that was a while ago now. It's crazy. Sarki Soliloquy, back again. Thanks for the clarification with my earlier super chat. Said it, said it better than I could. Maybe I'll be sending some more love your way soon. <laughs> Keep that Channel Awesome Smolders toasty for s'mores. I'm, I'm not doing any more Channel Awesome videos until the full down the rabbit hole, which is coming whenever all of this blows over. Thank you for the 10. Ursula Major. Been watching since CWC. I'm loving these streams. Don't you dare stop. <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of Justin, but finding out what he did is hard. The you're not stupid speech helped me through a rough time. I, I, again, you know, you can appreciate the act, like, some of what your heroes have done and also condemn other things they've done. That's, that's my best advice. Thank you for the 10. I'll, if I stream again, it'll probably be in a few months. I don't know. We'll see. And it probably won't be so drama-oriented. Again, I didn't mean for this to be so drama-oriented. Ganarumo, thanks for motivating me to write weird books, by the way. You are very welcome. Thanks for the two euros. Skrunglenut. Left a present on Twitter. Love your content. Oh, dear. I'll check it out after the stream. Thank you for the two. Raymond Willis, thanks for the 10. All right, how many more do we have? I don't want, oh God, Raymond Willis at the top again. Okay, we're gonna refresh one more time after this and then we're gonna call it. Last call. Colt Revolver, that earlier question I asked about your opinion on the future of Channel Awesome after this backlash. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I thought that you meant to act, I thought that you might have meant to ask another question. That was, that was what I meant. I didn't, I promise I wasn't trying to bait you into super chatting again, but thank you for the, another five Canadian. Nathan Loring, this is the stream that never ends. We're almost done, guys. Thank you for the two. 
Attic Warrior 1994, I never get tired of your vids. This entire situation with Channel Awesome has been a nightmare to navigate, so I appreciate having a perspective I can trust covering it. I I hope I could provide a measured response. Thanks for the 10. Dracul Joshi. Just had to get another two in. And Oh, Yoshi as in from Nintendo. Oh my god. It's Joshi! Joshi's gonna be in Super Mario Krat. Thank you for the correction and the extra four francs. Vera Witch. Oops, sorry, actual. Sorry, actual Nanite. Your hair is fab, boy. <laughs> this is. This right here is art. Oops, sorry, actual Nanite. That, that sounds like a song title. <laughs> Tara Edwards, I'd be down with a bad dragon down the rabbit hole. You get down with it. <laughs> Thank you for the five. Joshua, Gas Joshua Gasparak, love the vids thread. Where did I get my Gertie? I got my Gertie from Alterwind Music. Um, my specific Gertie is their Marywood model. By the way, if you go there and you talk with them, let them know that Fred sent you and you'll get a good chuckle out of them. Thank you for the two. Raymond Willis just wanted to say how much I love your videos and the stream was great. I'm glad. I'm glad that people enjoyed it. Down the Rabbit Hole is one of the few series you like to pull up full screen. That's so cool. I know a lot of people say that it's mostly audio, but I do my best with the visuals just to give context and I'm glad that it works that way. Thank you for the five. All right, last refresh. Raymond Willis. Right. All right. It's it said Skak Dium C. Skak Dium C. Okay, I got so close. Damn. Thank you for the two to correct me. Guy person man thing. Don't know why I'm cute. Proceeds to who like an owl, bro, like for real. <laughs> also sent me a DM on Twitter about Max Landis. All right. I'll be going through my DMs. Um I might do it tomorrow because I'm tired, but we'll see. We'll see how much energy I have. Thanks for the five. Tori Jameson, any advice on getting into the hurdy-gurdy? Hi again. Um, it is okay to just, like, when you first pick up the instrument, to just crank for a couple hours. Your cranking arm should almost never get tired if you're doing it right. Also, before you get into the gurdy, there is something you absolutely must know. The hurdy-gurdy is the most maintenance-heavy instrument you will ever play. I'm sure there are some that require a little bit more, but literally, you will have to tinker with it almost every time you sit down to play it. You will, like, it's, it's just part of the instrument. The hardest part of the instrument isn't playing it. It's actually not nearly so hard as some other instruments. It's just, it, it's prissy, and it's cranky, ha. Huh. So that's what you need to know. Thank you very much uh, for the two. Loosecat56, clumsy and absurd is accurate. <laughs> Thanks for the two. Ursula Major, also archived, please, so you can see to it later. Yeah, you, it'll be archived on this channel. Thank you very much, and thanks for the two. All right, thanks, everyone. I... I'm going to rest. Thank you very much, everyone, for hanging out. And I will see you later. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>